The most controversial and talked about shunt involved Mark Scaife and Russell Ingall at the final round in 2003. It's since been dubbed the race rage incident. We'll leave you to be the judge. But I don't know. This is Russell Ingall and Mark Scaife. We said that it was a very, very fiery situation brewing. I tell you what, uh, looks to me like Russell's got a bit of a case to answer there. By oh, gee. Well, Scaifey would be absolutely livid. He's well up the inside. He hasn't given him a lot of room, but... Whoa. Now, was that a result of him coming off the edge of the bitumen, or...? <laughs> I'm only being uh, the devil's advocate here, but I can tell you this, that Mark Scaife reacted this way. Now, watch this. Look at the Scaife attitude, and look what Ingle does in response. Now, we've seen drivers... We've seen Bob Jane and Alan Moffat, or at least Bob Jane in that instance, come to blows. We've seen Longhurst do it. Now, I have never there'll seen be, anything um, quite like that because that is... There'll be big a, issues over this. This is going to be a real stink when well, this one gets dealt with at uh, well, race big, control. The big thing, Neil, is, is that is not a post-race confrontation, which we have, of course, seen in the past on a few occasions. That is during race conditions where Scafi has stayed on the circuit just to have a go at Russell, and it took a while for Russell to circle round to that position, and then the response from Russell was You'd have to say quite extraordinary. It looks as though he just turned right. That is car nine. What can you say? And uh, here we go again. Mark's up the inside here. They had been battling, and Russell was on an older set of tyres, and there'd been a lot of press speculation during the week about who was going to do what to who. They are side by side, and car nine turns right. Big impact in the end. Really, does that cost Scaife second place in the championship? Yeah. I think it has, yes, probably will.